Let's get moving. Oh, hurry it up, mate. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. So that was an early plot twist. Come on, Charlie. What's the hold? Yeah, yeah. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm fine. Oh, man. He is, uh, he is a fantastic character. I really do enjoy him. He's, got, he's just a strange mix of, uh, of tough guy slash funny slash weird. I don't know. He's, a, he's an odd chap, but he's, uh, he's fun to roll with. And it's nice that he turned out to be a friend rather than a foe. But yeah, Sully said that him and Nate were destined for great things and having played the first two Uncharted games, I would say they've That's blocked. I would say they've done some pretty great things. So worked out pretty well for them in the end. And alright, let's have a look. Wait, we can get around this way. We can. Oh yeah, there's a yellow bar here. I should have known that it was something to yeah, climb. Yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. <laughs> oh, there's a thought. There you go. Difference in uh, strategies. Wall's too high. Yeah. Let's move this thing over there. <clears throat> but that little prologue with uh, Nate and Sully was fantastically executed, I think. And it was just, I love the way that Sully treats. Uh, Nate, although he calls him a kid, he kind of treats him like a like he's mature. And to be honest, Nate, for his age, you know, he's uh, he's obviously learned a lot on the streets. Let's say, so you can already tell they were going to get on pretty well. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. I'm surprised they actually managed to trick um, Talbot with the fake ring. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. Yeah, I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. There we go. <laughs> My ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? No. <sighs> Easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door's scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. No one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just going to sneak in and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're on to. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Wait, so it seems like the money was real, and they pretended that they thought it was fake. Seems pretty hmm. quiet. But yeah, I don't think Nate has ever successfully snuck into so somewhere and snuck back out, even when he was a kid, so... I wouldn't be surprised if this goes badly. Well... We're not going to just barge in the front door and find out. Well, we can't afford to waste time standing here. This looks like a pint for Nate. I'll find a way in check it out. You three stay here. Got it. Oh, I was going to say so everybody just follow him and complete the reference, but... Oh, well. <laughs> he really shouldn't <laughs> be making those noises. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, we've just made a huge racket, <laughs> and now he's whispering. Am I supposed to try and pull that down? Or... Whoa. Um. Okay. 
So again, as as always, we have questions. What happened to Elena? She's disappeared once again. We have Chloe back. So it's a constant to and fro. To and fro. We don't seem to have them together too often. It's either either we got Elena or we got Chloe. And again, like Uncharted 2, I honestly don't remember what's happened to Elena at this stage. Whoa. They probably broke up or something. Nothing too dramatic for that thing. Seriously, man, you have made a shitload of noise. But he's got silencer, so it's all good. But I can't pull my gun out yet. Okay, so it looks pretty empty, which is not a good sign. Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? And of course it begs the question, what exactly are these four <laughs> after? Yeah, this place is deserted. Shit. Did someone set us up? <laughs> Chloe, I've never, I've never been too impressed with Chloe. <laughs> ah, great. See, it's one of those annoying fools that I'm sure Nate could have survived. I'm Empty? pretty certain. Wait a minute, where did it go? But if the game says you're not supposed to jump down from there, it will not let you jump down from there. I have to go the long way. This game does not give you any shortcuts. Where, okay, so where did I fall from? Okay, I did kind of fall from there. Yeah, sometimes the camera really makes it look less. I mean, here, this doesn't look too bad at all. My bad. Um, okay, this time I should be okay. There we go. Alright, let's find out what went wrong. There's not even any treasure here, so I don't think they've ever been Where here. Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Uh, Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. They were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. I think Marlene's just after the ring because she still has the um, the decoder thing. So I think Nate's trying to steal the, deco the decoder back. So that means that we're pretty much going to go, you know, right back to the beginning. Look at this. Yes. Okay. Well, that leads straight into a wall. Unless they have some kind of secret passage here. Something's vibrating here. Oh. Anyone want to help me out? Okay, I think I have to trigger a conversation first or something. Yeah. <laughs> Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Okay. Come on, guys. There's there's four tires and there's four of us. Come on. Hey, check this, this out. Guys, come on. Someone can someone rub two brain cells together and figure this one out, please. Do I have to spell it out every time? Oh, some kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully. Stand right there. You two. Back there and there. Alright, everybody. On three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> and? <laughs> Come on, guys. Jump. Well, this has got to be it. I don't think you guys jumped high enough. Need to come down with a little bit more force. I mean, there's a ladder there, but what do they want me to be seeing? Yeah, I have to focus on something in particular. Oh, 
Wait. What the fuck? Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. <laughs> Goddamn Cadabra. Um, Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Uh, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. She's a cool cat, that's for sure. Yeah, it looks like Helen Mirren has a serious well, I think outfit going on. Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. <laughs> it looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Oh, boy. So I'm surprised it's taken them this long to really come for the ring. Either, either obviously it's happened before, and we obviously just haven't seen that part of the story. But I'm not sure why it's either. There's a there's a new piece of information that made them want to come back for the for Nate's ring. But I don't know. Are we shooting locks? Yes. Come on. So the hand-to-hand -hand combat mechanics are a little different. I'm not sure if the, the shooting is any different. We should be able to squeeze through here. <laughs> lay on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? <laughs> lay on. It's lay on, Macduff. Oh. <laughs> Can we hurry it along, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just not keen <laughs> on the old tight spaces, that's all. Uh, just keep moving. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is Macduff? Is there an <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, if, if you want to write a script where you have, you know, characters that you really connect with and find interesting, it's always nice to give them kind of, you know, idiosyncrasies. Like this guy, you know, when you look at him, you don't assume that he's... He doesn't really look like the kind that's scared of too much. But then you put him in a tight space and he turns into a pussycat. So, you know, little things like that really bring characters to life. Because, you know, people are the same. What's that? They're here! What? I can't do anything. Okay, this is set up. Alright, let's go. Whoa, that took a hit. Oh, yeah, nice one, mate. Thanks. Cheers, mate. I don't want that. Actually, I think I might have the same gun, just with a silencer. No, if I had the same gun, they'd be giving me bullets. Whoa, okay. Forty-five, huh? It's a shame they don't really give you a running update anymore of how many treasures you have. Seven. I don't remember how many I ended up with in, in Uncharted 2, but I think no, it's no, close to 30. Again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, the tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Okay. They just wanted to have a nice camera angle here. Ooh. Completely understandable, considering it's one of the most cinematic games around. Is this another one of these dodgy places that I'm going to die if I jump down? In case you're wondering who Macduff is, um, it's a character from Shakespeare's Macbeth. You can do a little bit of research if you wish. Oh, that is a long way down. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but where did the where did the van go? How did the van get down there? Either there's some kind of lift that we haven't seen that took it down to another level. But... Okay. Bit of dangerous climbing here. Careful, it's slippery. Um. Oh, okay. I didn't think he could, gra he could grab that ledge. 
I really love the flashlights in um, Uncharted and The Last of Us. I wish there was like a, a limited edition where they gave you like a replica of the of those flashlights. But then again, I don't know. I haven't seen a flashlight that looks like that before. I don't know. Maybe in the US they're like, a, you know, very common type of flashlight that people use. I don't know. I mean, I haven't brought many flashlights in my life, but I haven't really seen one that looks like that before. There's more of them. Get down. How do I? Oh, okay. they're close enough. Can I can I cover here? Okay. All right, they're coming straight in. So how's okay. stealth kills Maybe work? You are. Good one. It seems like um, the sensitivity is naturally lower than it was. Oh shit! I don't think we have sensitivity controls. Oh, okay, it's in the camera. I think they're, they're trying to help you get headshots, so they're pretty much doing what I was doing in the first two games, but they set that up naturally. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll play around with it, and hopefully I'll find something that suits me. Because it's all about them headshots. There's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks like it's jammed, though. Let me see if I can loosen it. Go ahead. Look out. Here it comes. Well done, mate. I really want to turn the flashlight off. There's enough light here for me to see what I'm doing. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. Um... Is someone going to give me a boost? No. I have to do it on my own. How about you, Cutter? A little help here? Sure, I got you. <laughs> um, okay, it looks like I have to go all the way to the top. Oh, okay. He's taking the other one. Someone's actually helping for once. All right, ready? Pull. Come on, boys. Got it. <laughs> okay, Charlie, come on. Cutter. I wonder how he got that name. Nah, there's a treasure over there, but screw it. Turn that flashlight off, dude. Seriously. It's unnecessary. There's the tunnel again. It's too far to drop there. We'll break our damn necks. <laughs> yeah, Nate's experienced that one before. Is there two routes here? Down Must here. Be... Okay. Where are we headed now? You see, now we need a flashlight. <clears throat> what in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? Seriously weird. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not understanding why Cutter doesn't really know um, Marlow and her crew. Work. Oh, he's got to be Victorian, maybe older. This stuff's been rusting for a century. Hmm. So it's like an abandoned underground station. Hmm. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, he seemed like he was uh, in business with them, and uh, obviously he was, you know, helping Marlow to supposedly take these guys down. But then he says that he pretty much doesn't really know anything about how they roll. So I guess he probably didn't get too much to chance to chat to them. Maybe we can get through here. Oh no way, we're moving there. <laughs> Hey, wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> Crap. Yeah, nice try, Nate. Oh, I thought he could. I thought there was something to grab onto here. Damn. Okay, where do we begin? Oh, okay. <laughs> 